This video is about the work breakdown structure, which is an aspect of the project scope management plan. Actually, the work breakdown structure, WBS for short, is an offshoot of the project scope statement. It is advisable to first access and view our video on the project scope statement on this Real Institute channel, so as to make better sense of the content of this video on the WBS. While well, over and above the project charter, everything else in the project and in the management of a project hinges on the project scope statement. The project scope statement is the project point of reference. It is the project frame of reference and it is the project terms of reference. All of the other project management plans are subservient to the project scope statement and they are premised on the project scope statement. The work breakdown structure is the first derivative of the project scope statement. Actually, it is more of a subsidiary of the project scope statement, whereas the rest of the project management plans are derivatives of the project scope statement. Due to the narrative nature of the project scope statement, it is prudent to express or detail some aspects of it in a manner that makes it easier for its derivatives to be determined, to be estimated, to be planned, to be organized, to be executed and managed, to be monitored and to be controlled. The WBS as a subsidiary of the project scope statement does just that. It simplifies or breaks down the project scope to levels or details that helps to better determine, to better estimate, to better plan, organize, execute and supervise and to better monitor and control the rest of the project aspects particularly the project schedule and the project budget. Work breakdown structure is a formal project management model or artifact that states the overall project scope as a project outcome and then decomposes the project scope into hierarchical levels of milestones and then decomposes the milestones into measurable and manageable activities. This is to help ease the determination, the estimation, the planning, the organization, the execution and supervision, the monitoring and the controlling of the project aspects, in particular the project time management plan or the project schedule. According to the PMI's PMBOK, a milestone or a project milestone refers to a significant point or event in a project. Therefore, the WPS is a tool that is utilized to simplify the project scope by decomposing it into significant points or aspects of a project. In a project of building a house, the house foundations, the house superstructure, the house roof, and the house finishes are significant points or aspects of such a project. They are the milestones of the house building effort. A milestone or a milestone level in a WBS is also referred to as a control account. According to the PMI's PMBOK, control account is a management control point where scope, budget and schedule are integrated and compared to the end value for performance management. A measurable and manageable activity in a WBS is also referred to as a work package. According to the PMI's PMBOK, work package is the lowest level of the work breakdown structure for which duration and cost can be estimated and managed. Each work package is part of a control account. It is easier to estimate the duration and the cost of, say, digging the foundation or even pouring the concrete in the house foundation milestone instead of estimating the duration and the cost of the entire house foundation effort at a go. When individual work packages or individual activities of the house foundation milestone have been individually estimated in terms of their individual durations and costs, then such estimations can be aggregated into the milestone level for control purposes and for end value performance management or monitoring. Therefore, the work breakdown structure is a formal project management model or artifact that states the overall project scope as a project outcome, 
and then decomposes the product scope into hierarchical levels of milestones, and then decomposes the milestones into measurable and manageable activities. According to the PMI's PMBOK, work breakdown structure is a hierarchical decomposition of the total scope of work to be carried out by the project team to accomplish the project objectives and create the required deliverables. The WPS is developed by breaking down the project scope into four to six sections of high-level detail. These sections are the milestones or control accounts. Four to six sections is adequate because too many sections at the high level of WPS is undesirable because in the long run, it may compromise or impair the product supervision, the product monitoring, and the project controlling. Also, too few sections are undesirable. That is, one, two, or even three sections at the WPS high level could also make it difficult for the product manager to allocate resources, responsibilities, durations, and costs. As a matter of fact, if a project manager had already developed a good or fit for purpose product scope statement, this first aspect of the WBS development would already have been taken care of. The project deliverable section of the product scope statement would have been done such that the product milestones or the product control accounts would already have been determined or rather the product scope would already have been decomposed into adequate and appropriate milestones. Then each of the four to six high level subdivisions or decompositions of the product scope is further divided or decomposed into project work packages. For simple projects, three hierarchical levels consisting of the project outcome the control account and the work package are enough. However, in more complex projects and in programs, it may be necessary to have more than three hierarchical levels that include perhaps further sub-project outcomes, sub-milestones, or even sub-control accounts. Also, in ultra-simple projects, work packages would be equivalent to the project activities as they will be reflected in the project schedule or in the project time management plan that will ensue from the work breakdown structure. As a matter of fact, the project time management plans or the project schedules are derived directly from the work breakdown structures. There are generally two ways of developing and demonstrating a work breakdown structure. The work breakdown structure is represented either in a hierarchical outline model or in a hierarchical tree model. To demonstrate this, and actually to develop a work breakdown structure, using a practical project as an example, we will use a project of building a custom steel gate for a customer by steelworks manufacturing. We have already used the same example in the development of the project scope statement in our video on developing the project scope statement. As I've already stated, it is advisable to first access and view our video on the project scope statement on this Real Institute channel, so as to make better sense of the content of this video on the WPS. In the third video on the development of the project scope statement. We crafted the product deliverable section as illustrated. As you can see that we have already decomposed the product scope into five milestones or five control accounts, which are designing, purchasing, building, finishing, and installation. Then we can proceed to decompose these milestones into their respective work packages. We will do the hierarchical outline model approach first. As you can see that the model has three levels. The first level is the highest WBS level where we specify the project scope outcome. In our example project, 
The project outcome is the custom 2 meter by 3 meter manual sliding steel gate. Then the second level are the project scope milestones, which are design or designing, purchasing, building, finishing and installation. Then in the third level are the project work packages within their respective project scope milestones as demonstrated. The work packages for design milestone are measure site, sketch gate drawings, approve gate drawings and determine a bill of quantities. Likewise for the hierarchical tree model, the work breakdown structure is done in a form that has the project scope outcome at the peak or at the pinnacle or at the climax of the hierarchy. In our example project, the project outcome is the custom 2 meter by 3 meter manual sliding steel gate. Then a level below are the project scope milestones, which are designing, purchasing, building, finishing and installation. Below the respective project scope milestones are the work packages. As demonstrated, the work packages for the finishes or finishing milestone are mount wheels, mount handles, mount locks, paint gate, and mount deco work packages. The work breakdown structure could then be taken a step further into the development of the project schedule as part of the project management planning function. Video on the development of the project schedule can be accessed and viewed on this Real Institute channel.